All right, guys, so I had no freaking idea that Rivers of Nile was releasing a single today, and I am so freaking excited. If you don't know this band, they're easily one of the best progressive death metal bands that are active right now. And Where Owls Know My Name is one of the best goddamn death metal albums that I think I have ever heard. That album is over a million views on YouTube, and to be honest, I'm probably half of them. Welcome to Forge Master Metal Reviews, the place where you can get more out of metal. This is our producer reaction series where we dive into a metal song and highlight some of the badass production and composition decisions within. You want us to do a producer reaction to another track? Drop those suggestions in the comments. I can't wait to dive into this song. Let's see what we pick up on. We're getting so much cinematic quality now with videos. It's pretty cool. Building up the uh, anticipation there. Building up the mood. I want your money. Oh you shit! I want your patience and your Wasted no time. So freaking good, dude. Ooh, shit. Those clean vocals in the background. Oh! I'm gonna pause it right there for a second. They did a cool production trick there. Notice how that the riff was sort of the same throughout the full intro. The band comes in and it's super heavy. Then all of a sudden we've got this awesome moment where the clean vocalist comes in in the background to heighten up and accent the part even more. That's a fantastic way to break up your composition and just give some ear candy to the listener to move them through the song. Oh shit. Really cool stereo vibe there. Ooh. There's a lot going on here and I wanna cover a couple of things. I love that they decided to keep the same root riff throughout the whole song so far. We're about a minute 26 in and we haven't really heard the riff change all that much. That's a cool way to textually keep the same theme, but do some different things dancing over it. And what I love about what they're doing here is there's this washy ambient guitar or maybe even a synth in the background that's adding this like padded layer. The other thing that they're doing is there's this awesome stereo field going on where the vocals go very wide and you can hear a little bit of a difference between the left and the right speaker on the vocals. Adds this creepiness to the part that makes the vocals feel ever present and kind of all around you at once. Awesome production and composition decision here to break up the song, love it. Nice call and response on the vocal there. Oh shit! Nice. This must be the pre chorus. Oh! Give me the death metal, baby. Oh! Awesome, dude. We will never be clean again. Okay, so that chorus was fucking sick. What I love about it is the syncopation that they were doing. The band's hammering on the tremolo picking and the drummer is doing some really cool double bass stuff, but the band is moving together.
awesome way to drive up the intensity of that part and remind you that this is a death metal band at its core. They're hammering you with those parts. And I love the little breathing rooms of anticipation where you feel like the hits are gonna happen again, but it extends on a little bit longer. Awesome chorus. Ooh. Beautiful ambient guitars. Ping pong effect on the delay. Wow. Is that, oh, okay, that's a synth. I thought that was his vocal for a second. Wow, dude. That synth is adding some serious textures to this part. Ooh, nice. So there's a cool thing that they're doing and the band's got this chilled sort of sitting back and they're all playing the same thing over and over again and they're playing with repetition there. The main thing is that you're hearing that is moving the song along here is the synth, which is changing a little bit every repetition and sort of building some tension with that modulation part of the actual synth. And they're going up on the melody and building a little bit of tension there. The other thing that they're doing is they're messing with this stereo field screaming harsh vocal that adds a ton of dynamics to this part and an enhanced creepiness. that the part needed to round out this part and make the band feel like this swirling mass. And it's so freaking awesome. Another cool thing I'm picking up on is there's acoustic guitars in the background buried in the mix. Hear it? Yeah. Ah! Uh. Oh man, give me that David Gilmore vibe. Oh, night. Nice. Okay. So the guitar solo comes in and it breaks up the song and it just gives you this soulful moment of something else other than the vocals and other than the synth. These guitar players are unbelievable in this band. And I love the fact that they went for something that was soulful and emotional. I'm sure that we're gonna see some shred in a second, but I love, David Gilmore is one of my favorite guitar players and anyone who invokes that sensibility in their playing is just gonna steal my heart. So love it so far. The other thing that they're doing is in the background, there's this sort of chant going on where they're saying, we'll never be clean, we'll never be clean again. It's hard to hear, but it's spooky and it adds an even bigger ambience to the part. So freaking cool. Ah, oh, man, nice. Hear it, hear it. So cool. Ah, here we go. Here's the shred. Love the tom work. Awesome. All right, nice. A little bit of a tease there. I love when bands do this. What they'll do is they'll play a solo, things will get intense and you think it's gonna explode, but all of a sudden it doesn't. And 
And that payoff is great because later in the song, it seems like the wow moment so far is the chorus. We might hear a breakdown or something like that. The chorus is already gigantic. So whatever they're gonna do in the future, if they do this little subdued break, the chorus is gonna hit even harder. If you're digging this so far, if you like these tips and you like what I'm picking up on, hit that like button for me. It supports us and it helps this video spread to new fans. Thanks a lot. Cool guitar texture in the background, delay wash. Hell yeah. Double kick. Last beat. This is the pre-chorus. I love the variation. They're building this up again, and one thing I love that bands do, and really good progressive metal bands do this, they'll take a pre-chorus or a verse, and later in the song, they'll do a little variation on it, just to give the song a little bit of something new from what you've heard before. And in this case, they're adding some double kick, they're adding some blast beats with the drums, awesome. Blast beats. Love it. Ah! Oh, this chorus is freaking disgusting. Oh man, I never felt so filthy about something about being clean. They did another thing here too. This chorus has a little bit of variation on it. It's more devastating and those progressive influences are coming out on those guitar runs. I love that the band is kind of doing this breakdown sort of thing with the chorus, extending it out. Love it. Hell yeah. That was fucking phenomenal. I am so stoked to hear that the band is challenging themselves and that this album isn't going to be Owls Part 2. Not that I would complain, but my hype for this record is at its freaking max now. Check this band out if you haven't yet. Hit that like button. Helps the video spread to new people. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Take care, Forge Masters. I'll see you guys on the dark side of the swamps.